And happy Cinco de Mayo to you. We're going to start here at the site of the future home of the Buffalo Bills. The Erie County Legislature giving final approval to the new stadium deal yesterday. And while it is a three year project and the bills say excavation work won't actually start until next month, we actually spotted a few changes today. Construction equipment is already sitting in the parking lot that will eventually be where the new stadium is built. Not minutes after the legislature's vote, the bill said that construction would begin in earnest, although no digging quite yet. Light poles are marked right now with some orange X's. Those will have to be removed. And we noticed, look at this, the track and field over at ECC South is no more. The rubber piled up just past that dump truck. It's just a taste of what's to come. Joining us live now to discuss is Erie County Executive Mark Polencars. We appreciate you coming in to talk to us about this. It's funny, when you walked in the studio, Scott Levin said to you, uh, congrats on getting this deal done. How do you feel? And you said relieved. Um, <laughs> I know that's the case for a lot of Bills fans too, yeah. right? Just to get everything, you know, dot all the, the I's and cross all the T's. Um, what happens now? Well, you are right. I am relieved. I'm glad that that portion's over with. But now we have a whole nother uh, volume, so to speak, to deal with, which is the actual construction. Uh, so we'll have an official groundbreaking. Uh, we haven't set the date yet. We're going to be working with the governor's office and the bills on that. Uh, I assume Mr. Bagula will be there. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do the official groundbreaking. But as you noted, work's already started. There's some yeah. stuff that's happened in the last 24 hours alone. And that will continue. And then, of course, we have the big equipment that will be coming in uh, to start the excavation, to start put the pilings in the ground for what will be a stadium that hopefully uh, that first uh, home game in September of 2026 will be the grand opening of a beautiful brand new stadium in Orchard Park. Um, speaking of that groundbreaking, yesterday we talked to um, an insider who's, who has been involved in a lot of these stadium projects all over the country. Um, he talked about how involved the NFL was in this particular mm -hmm. deal, even down to Roger Goodell himself, said he yes. expects that Roger will be at this groundbreaking. You would imagine Governor Hoke will be there, obviously the Bills, you'll be there. What do we know about, I know you said that a date hasn't been set. Uh, over the next few weeks, you'll kind of all be working on that. and. This is going to be the biggest construction project in the region's history. How do you kind of mark the start of that? Well, and it's exactly it. We're talking about a $1.54 billion stadium, a $1.54 billion construction project. Yeah. Uh, so w w there is a timeline that's been established. It's part of the documents that were approved by the legislature yesterday as part of the construction coordination agreement. So we are on the timeline, and it says here's what's going to be done through the three-year period, what to expect, excavation, pilings, starting to put up structural steel, and the like, uh, all the way to final, we turn over the keys mm -hmm. uh, to the state, and they own the property, and then they turn over the keys in the lease to the bills. Uh, it is going to be long, but it's probably going to fly by. It's just one of those things where it's, it's not going to be that much longer, and we're going to be talking about, wow, you can kind of make out the stadium, and then soon thereafter it's like, wow, the stadium looks done, but there's still more work to be done. Uh, so this is just the beginning of that process. As I said, we finished one volume, so to speak. Uh, if this was a multi-volume book, one yeah. volume's done. That's the getting the, the documents uh, agreed to and approved. Now we're on to the second one, which is construction. And then hopefully, as we said, the first uh, home game in 2026, the Bills fans will be celebrating and watching as Josh Allen leads the team on the field. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's one thing for us to, to watch all of this play out from a bit of a distance. Mm -hmm. Other people live right next to, as we mentioned, what is going to be the largest construction site uh, in the region's history. Spoke to actually a lot owner, and we'll show you here. Um, this person lives near the stadium today, sharing this letter with us that he got from the Bills. Obviously, I mean, it warns about dust and debris, things that you would expect with any construction project, especially one of this size. Uh, what do we know right now about the plans to deal with the fact that you're going to have for a couple of seasons here a stadium that's eventually going to be torn down but is still going to be home to the bills with this construction site right beside it. I mean that logistically is going to be a challenge. It, it will be. It's not going to affect uh, traffic in the area like Abbott Road will be open. Southwestern Boulevard will be open. It will be an issue during uh, games in the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's going to be a reduced amount of parking that will be available. Uh, the Bills have already announced some changes. Uh, the uh, camper lot is almost no, is no right. more. Uh, <laughs> and there are parking lots that currently exist which are going to disappear. Uh, so there's going to be a reduced amount of footprint for parking in the next couple of years. Uh, and so there will be an impact. The Bills are working through that. They're, they're working with us and letting us know what the changes are going to be. Uh, and I, I would say this is people, it's just a work in progress. 
Uh, we know it's going to be a little bit of an issue. For if you live nearby, there's going to be a lot of construction over the next three years. Uh, it's not something that I don't think people were, are, are surprised about, yeah. but it's happening. And after two years of negotiations and getting to a point where yesterday was the final day in which everything was approved, uh, now the next step happens, and it's one in which it's going to be a little noisy, be a little dusty. Uh, there's going to be reduced parking lots on the site, uh, but people are still going to be going to those games uh, over the next couple of years. And then, as we said, if all is well and, and, and this moves along in the timeline we all hope, uh, beginning of 2026 season, uh, we'll be thinking then about demolishing the old stadium because right. we'll be in the new one. Yeah, and getting parking back from where the, yes. uh, the old stadium is. Um, finally here, you've repeatedly talked about the benefit here in that Erie County is getting out of the stadium business, right? Correct. The state of New York is going to own the, the stadium. Right now, you're continuing to pay millions of dollars to the current stadium because that's what the lease, the previous lease said. Yes. Um, we do obviously still have law enforcement that are involved in game days. What other expenses are there going to be on Erie County with the new stadium? I, I imagine nothing to the level of what, what we used to have in terms of of financial support, but some nonetheless. Well, the operating and game day support that we provide to the team that ends when the new stadium opens. Uh, the capital assistance that the county has provided directly from the taxpayers that ends once the stadium opens. And that's uh, a couple million bucks. Combined, it's it's over six million dollars when, you, when you add everything in. Uh, but what we're going to end up doing is we'll still be providing police protection through the sheriff's office, though the bills reimburse us for a good portion of that. Any of the sheriff's deputies inside the facility, they reimburse us for the traffic control and the things outside the facility we take care of ourselves. Uh, then there's also emergency services. It's the Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services from Erie County that is on site uh, with everything you can imagine just in case of the worst case scenario, which you have to be prepared for. So we'll still have those uh, expenses, but those are minor very small compared to what we've been putting up uh, recently in past years uh, that will be eliminated once the new stadium is uh, is built so and the other thing is we no longer own it so if something bad happens a slip and fall people sue erie county because we're the the owner of the property that disappears so we eliminate all this liability that we have right now that will not exist in the future so this will save taxpayers a lot of money in the long run and we're getting money back through the community benefit agreement that we didn't get before Hundred million bucks over thirty years. Correct. Um, in addition to some other uh, stipulations that are in there, uh, Erie County Executive Mark Polen Cars. Uh, appreciate you coming in. Looking forward to the groundbreaking. It's my pleasure, Michael. And we'll let you know when the groundbreaking That's is. Right. We just don't know yet. About a month away, <laughs> sir. Thank you very much.